Hello, Kim Victoria here with Baby Steps to Drawing Success. And today I want to talk to you about measuring, because if you've never done measuring before, this will really help your drawing in a, <laughs> in a lot of ways. So this is my favorite cup for, for these demos that I've been using for the Baby Steps series. And it's got a Monet painting on it, so it's one of the reasons I like it. Monet had a lot of very wise things to say about painting. And what we do in drawing applies to painting. It really helps. So let's talk about measuring. Now, measuring is, is a visual thing. What you want to do is develop your visual eye so that you can see the proportions of things, so you can see the relationships between the horizontals, the verticals, the diagonals. And I'm always going to go back to the horizontals because that's, that's our most important line. It's our baseline for most everything we do because after all, we're standing on Mother Earth and we have gravity and we want to feel stable. And that's, that's a horizontal. It's a horizontal platform. So I'm just going to hold the cup in the air so that you can see what I'm doing with it in measuring. So we can tell pretty quickly that it is taller than it is wide. So we're looking at that distance, and we're looking at that distance. Well, it isn't that much taller than it is wide, isn't it? How about that? That's, that's surprising for a lot of mugs, a lot of cups. A lot of them are a lot taller than they are wide. But for this one, it's very, see, it's very important to be able to visually measure. Now, I'm able to hold the pencil right up against it. And we'll, we'll get into how to do it at a distance in a minute. So right now, I can hold this pencil up to this mug, and I can go, aha. That is how the difference is between the width and the height. It's almost in a square. So if we look at that square, we can see that the square aspect, this height going across, lines up with the middle of the oval, which we went over in the previous video, the middle of the oval of the handle. So that's a very useful measurement, okay? So when we look at this and we're going like, well, when we're drawing this, we're going to want, we're going to want a vertical. And I'm drawing darker than I would if I was just testing the waters, as it were. And I'm going to decide I want this to be a big cup. So I'm not too sure how long to make these because I've now put them this far apart. So let's see if I do that and I do that and I kind of eyeball and I go, there's my width. And it's a little bit, little bit longer than it is wide. So I know that the baseline and the top line are right about here. But I also know that from here to here goes to the middle of my handle, which means, double check, like that. So it's from here to here in our oval. So we know that something like this is going on. We're not quite sure yet. So we're looking for this measurement. And if we recall, our width from our height puts us right at the base of that handle. So there's our width, there's our height. So that puts us right at the base of our handle. And from here to here is just about the same as from here to here. So if we can, we can even measure that and say, ah, okay. So our cup fits in here and our handle fits in here. And the other thing is that you're seeing that oval again, and there's an oval down here as well. So 
I'm in a little bit different angle than you are, so bear with me. So we know there's that oval. Oh yeah, very similar, isn't it? So we know that we have this oval and this oval, and there's our center point. So we know we've got this, we've got this. And we want to create our oval of our cup and it comes straight out. And it's symmetrical. But then the inside loop looks pretty even through here from the way I'm looking at it. Remember, I'm seeing it a little differently than you are. But that gives us a really good start on seeing how to measure from this cup. Now, when you're at a distance, and I really can't do it here very easily close up like this, but when you're at a distance, you can use your pencil or pen as a measuring stick. So it's very important that you hold your hand at a same distance from your eye. So usually what artists do is they hold their hand and arm straight out from their shoulder so that there's no there's none of this, this getting close and far away, because your measurement is going to be quite different between here and here. <laughs> so you don't want to, you don't want to do that. You want to be really consistent in how far away your hand is from your eye. But you can use your pencil or pen or paintbrush for that matter in this way of just sliding along and going, okay, so here's our distance and then comparing it and you'll you'll be able to do it really easily just practice that a little bit holding the pencil at a distance from your eye that is consistent with the distance from your hand to your eye and just be consistent with that when you start measuring things, it's going to make your drawing a lot easier. So I've gone on a little long here. I hope that's okay. And be sure to comment and let me know if this has helped you and what else is frustrating you in your drawing process. I'd love to know what's frustrating you. And that way I'll be able to make more of these baby steps to drawing success. And I've definitely got a little list going, but let's... Let's hear from you. What are you interested in seeing more about that you're getting stuck on? All right, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.